Hey everybody, welcome to our first comment show. That's right, comment show number one for the Cooking with Jack show. You guys have so many questions. The show's getting so big that uh, we're going to take the time to answer some of your questions on this show right here. So keep them coming and we'll keep answering them. For example, let's talk about some of the questions regarding my uh, ham, how to cure a ham video. Uh, Master F. Punked asks me, can you reuse the brine for another piece of meat? Or does the brine get stale or bad at any point? Uh, I would, I, I honestly am not going to say that I know for a fact you shouldn't reuse it, but don't reuse the brine until you do research. I don't think it's a good idea to reuse brine for other meats or the even, even to redo another ham. Do a fresh brine. It's only going to taste better. And you don't want to take any chances of getting sick because you did something wrong. So do your homework, do your research. I don't know if you can reuse brine. Maybe somebody else can uh, write in on the show and I'll let you know uh, what I find out. Uh, let's see, who else? Oh, Autumn Petro writes me and says, when making this, how many pounds would your ham? And can you also do this with a boneless ham? Yes, you can do it with a boneless ham. Mine had a bone in it, but it's about that big. Uh, it was seven pounds. They can go all the way up to like 20, 30 pounds, but uh, mine was a nice seven pounder and you'll just have to make enough brine uh, according to the size and the container you're using to hold it. Mm, let's see here. Let's take DKM1998. That person asks, you keep blocking your mouth. I feel like I'm watching a woman eating. No hurt feelings, but it looks weird to me. This person, it means... He's talking about when I take a bite of food and I do this while I'm talking. Uh, you guys complain because I talked with food in my mouth, which I should never do. And so now I do this. And now I'm getting complaints that I look like a woman doing this. I don't know how that looks like a woman. But uh, I'm going to keep doing this so that you guys don't see the food in my mouth while I'm trying to tell you, uh, trying to describe what I'm tasting. And I, I just don't want you to sit there while I chew for 12 minutes. It's just ridiculous. So mouth covering is going to happen. Be ready for it unless I can find another way to not show you food in my mouth. All right. So get used to it. Okay. So who else? We have a, a, ta a Taylora one. Forgive me. I'm destroying your guys' usernames. First time ever. A Taylor, Laurel, Lori one. Something like that. Did you ref refrigerate it? Did I refrigerate the ham? Um, yes. I refrigerated, I cooked the brine, then you gotta cool the brine all the way down before you can put the ham in, okay? So I put the brine in the refrigerator by itself, it got cold, then I put the ham in and put it back in the refrigerator. At all times, everything should be in the refrigerator just to prevent bacteria from forming. So yes, I did refrigerate it. All right, let's move on to the sausage, peppers, and eggs video that you guys were watching. Uh, I got a, a question for a comment, not really a question, from Run9Scape, 09 and this person says I seen the green pan at CVS the green pan is the organic pan that I've been bragging about Yeah, it's really cool. Anyway, he writes I'm gonna get that hoe and ain't no hoe Gonna cook with that crap, but me all right, let me translate that for you It means I'm gonna get that pan because it looked good on Jack's show and it was amazing and nobody's touching it but me there you go. See, I speak urban. I got it going on. And then Kiera Lorish writes, would you do a lasagna in the crock pot recipe? I've seen one online and it would be really awesome to see you do it. I'll do anything in a crock pot. Obviously, you guys saw the chocolate lava cake that I did. I cooked a cake. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. It's uh, the lazy man's chocolate lava cake. I cooked a whole cake in a crock pot. It was crazy. Um, Roman sailor. Roman Sailor. Now, if I could only see more of that hot stuff on the show. Oh, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, never mind. The next line says Tabasco sauce. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Tabasco sauce. More Tabasco sauce on the show. Coming up, a viewer's recipe. It's called Tabasco Meatloaf. So I'll be doing that. That's going to be really interesting. Be ready for that in the next, I'd say, six to eight weeks. We're like piled on with shows. So hang in there. More Tabasco. Promise is in the works. I have uh, I, I'm not I, it's L Luong 6443. And that person says, you wrote sausage instead of sausage in the intro. Mm-hmm. Yep, I misspelled it. You got me. Uh-oh. 
But once it's up, there's nothing I can do about it, okay? So once the video's up, if I misspell a word, I mean, I can put a little annotation that says sorry, but I am i can't take the video down. It's already started rolling and life moves on and we're going to be okay. So hang in there. And then Lewis B 3100 wraps it up with, I've watched pretty much all your videos. Thank you for the hard work you put into them. Thank you, Lewis, for noticing. I have noticed lately that I'm not getting subscriber alerts, you know, where it emails you and tells you a new video is out by me. I no longer get an email when you post a new video. So here's what you do. Lewis, you can go into your settings and make sure that all your notifications are proper because when YouTube just revamped their website, some of that stuff changed. There were some new things added in. And I found a lot of people said, not just on my show, but other YouTubers that I know, they had a lot of subscribers that said they weren't being notified anymore. And you can check your settings or you can unsubscribe and then resubscribe right away. And then your settings will lock back in. There'll be an email choice should pop up. If not, write me personally and I'll help you. I'll walk you through it, okay? But uh, if you're not getting subscription notices about my show when I put up a new video, then you need to unsubscribe and resubscribe again just to lock that in. Well, there you go. It's comment show number one. We're going to be doing this every week. Be ready for it. Keep the questions coming and I'll see you on YouTube.